What's up, family? What's going on? What's up? Uh, um, yeah, we got seven games today, man. Seven games, seven iffy games. Don't have too much today, man. I don't have too much. It's another day like this. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, bright spots and some, you know, some not so bright spots yesterday. Um, uh, man, th thanks to that um Phoenix game, you know. Man, thanks to that Phoenix game and uh, Milwaukee coming back, you know, coming back. And then, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Franz Wagner, I needed him to give me two assists, even though, but, but uh, Wendell Carter made up for a lot of things for me, live betting. And uh, what else do we have here? Oh, Orlando ended up losing that game. That was crazy. You know, it was, it was some spots yesterday. Anyway, um, Let's have hope for better things today. All right. So, uh, like I said, don't have much. Not too many officials. If even if I have an official, yet you know what I'm saying. It's early. Uh, we'll see. But let's let, let me did deliver this eulogy and let's uh let me help you start your day off right. All right. We got two thirty one and a half uh, over under in this one. Uh, the, the, the this total is moving. All right. Chicago Bulls favored by two. My Chicago Bulls, uh, we beat these guys three games in a row, all right? Um, right off the back, didn't put anything together for this game here. Um, the Bulls went over this total. I mean, this game went over this total two out of two times, all right? Uh, the Bulls just played this team a couple games ago. Uh, what's been going on in this game here? Well, we uh, Vucevic and... Uh, 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 what the fuck is his name? Capella. They've been rebounding the ball really, really well. All right. Last game, um, um, Gallinari had a great game. So I'm, I want to see what his, uh, you know, his, uh, his props are going to be like there. Uh, what's his name is doubtful. Uh, John Collins is doubtful and, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich was letting the three ball ride. All right. Now, uh, on the bull side, like I said, um, Vucevic and them, they and, and the centers on both sides of the balls have been rebounding the ball. I mean, I've I seen 17 toes, I've seen 20 rebound toes, so you know it is what it is with that. Then, uh, what else? Uh, Zach Levine and uh, um, Kobe White hit the three ball at a, at a minor clip, uh, doing out the span of these games that they played these three. Uh, this is a three times uh, the spot revenge for. Um, Atlanta, so they'll be looking to win this game at home. Uh, trends, uh, lately the Chicago Bulls have been trending under. Um, the Atlanta Hawks have been trending over lately. This is lately now, I don't take too much into it, but lately, at least the four, five, six games. And I think, uh, what is it? Atlanta Hawks, they have covered the spread and Nine of their last eleven games at home, or something like that. So you know they've been, you know they've been playing hard at home, and there you have that. Uh, props here, we don't have too many props out. Uh, everything is self-explanatory here. Uh, don't mind, you know, if you guys want to, you know, try the thirty thing out for uh, the dirty thirty for Demar Derozan, be my guest. The twenty uh, three, you know, be my guest. I'm I'm fine with both of those props right there. I haven't been betting a lot of that Derozan, you know, but you know I'm fine. That, even if you want to get to a dub or something like that. For uh, 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 Zach Levine, uh, uh, be my guess with that lick there. Uh, rebounds. I I did sprinkle something on that ten and a half. Uh, it's 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 juiced. It's juiced. It's juiced, and it's going up more. Before you know it, it's gonna it's gonna be at twelve. I think I call it at um minus one thirty. Um, nothing. Just a little bit. Uh, not even an official play. That's why I say I ain't have too many officials. Uh, Ten is not out of the realm of possibilities in, in same game parlays. Uh, 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 so you know something like that. You know I'm not opposed to getting to. Um, I'm not, not, not sold on you know some of these plays here. Uh, Zach Levine, you know uh, he hasn't hit that four. You know when last time he hit four threes, man. Uh, I don't fucking know, but you know let me see. Right. So it's been some crying, uh, quite some time. Uh, four straight games. So, yeah. All right. So, um, I don't know. I might temper my expectations. You know what I'm saying? I might. Uh, I want to see uh, uh, Atlanta side of things before I start putting anything together. So, you know, it's it's, it's just a wait and see thing for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. The, the Bulls went over this total twice. Uh, this, I mean, these two teams went over this total twice this year. Uh, we will see. Uh, one team's trending over, one team's trending under. All right? Uh, yeah. Moving on along here. Uh, Miami Heat at Brooklyn Nets here. We got uh, Durant back in this one. Uh, Miami coming off a tough to tough loss there. It's a back-to-back -back here. Uh, it's the threes for me. Uh, we'll see. Uh, 221 and a half over under. Uh, Miami Heat favored by two. Uh, 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 Jimmy Butler just like last night just went out there and just did Jimmy Butler things. Just you know, uh, you know it is what it is. You know what he does. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be interested in the three ball from both sides from the guys. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we will see. We will see. There'll be no Kyrie in this one. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's all I can say right now, man. I can't even go to any trends. This is a, a totally different Brooklyn Nets team. Need to know if uh, Andre Drummond is going to go as well. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep an eye on the situation here. All right, Detroit Pearson, 218 over under in this one. Uh, the Toronto Raptors, Raptors favored by eight. I don't know why. Casey has been beaten on the Toronto Raptors' ass. They beat them five games in a row. Uh, so, <laughs> it is what it is with that situation there. All right, uh, we shouldn't see no Bagley in this one. Uh, he's doubtful. Uh, we might get Hamio Diallo back. Then, you know, they got Kelly o Olenek. You know, he's been playing some good ball. So, I mean, I guess, you know, he's been playing some okay ball. Um, Toronto Raptors, can't make a move on this one. I need to see what's going on with the uh, likes of uh, Fred Van V and then uh, um, 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 what's that motherfucking boy name? OG Anobi. Uh, Toronto Raptors, you know, they need to beat up on these motherfucking ass, the Toronto, uh, on Detroit ass. Uh Detroit is they daddy right now. You know what I'm saying? Casey, the old coach, you know what I'm saying? You know, revenge narrative. He keeping his foot on they fucking necks right now. And then, you know, I can't help but to have some interest in that spread. All right? Um, <sighs> plays, all right? Um, Jerry Grant, you know, from a pure usage standpoint, you know, he's, you know, uh, this 18 and a half is in play. Uh, not nothing I'll probably be going to, but it's in play. So, uh, uh, two, uh, uh, fifteen points. You know, I can, I, I can add that. I, I, I don't mind that. Uh, uh, um, what else we got here? Um, K. Cunningham, fifteen points is in play as well. So you know, something like that. And the over has been, the over has been trending. You know, pretty, pretty, pretty nice here for the, uh, for the uh Detroit Pistons. Man, it might, I might, as I might add, uh, they have went over. I think they last five games, they really, really trending hard. The over has really been trending hard. I can really, really uh, see, um, you know, this, uh, three, oh, and two in their last five games to over for, for Detroit. Uh, so I can't really uh, let you guys go without knowing that, all right? Just in case you, you know, you want to take a pick a side or whatever like that. So let me see something here. What's the total? I, I, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. The total of this game is 220, I believe. I'll see, but yeah. And then as far as far as uh Toronto, like uh um a fun fact that's gonna coincide with that one. Uh the over is nine and two in the Raptors nine and eleven last eleven Thursday games. If that, you know, makes any motherfucking sense. It does make sense, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh but they you know the Raptors they ten and two against the spread in their last twelve games. Uh, following an ATS, a loss, but you know all that shit's out the door with this revenge narrative for for, for me. <laughs> you know the Pistons, they five and zero against this, you know five and zero against these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So uh, last time these two teams played, though, let's see, was uh, January 14th, man, January 14th. You know, and they played back in November. You know, so these store these scores, you know. Um, 121 to 127, 103 to 187. Those are the two f from this year. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, looks like they went over that total. Within those five games, looks like they went over this total once here. All right? So, we'll see, man. We're going to see what's up, man, because these two they, they try, Toronto should want this game bad. Now, let me, give me, let me finish. Let me finish. All right? So, uh, um, a rebound prop here. We got uh, no, w w um, um, I w I don't mind adding uh now uh, 
Let me see. What's his name? Uh, Hamil Diallo would be back. Um, he's a decent rebounder, man. But I guess I, I, I you know, I, 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 I'll, I'll decipher these. I'm just gonna put them up there for the ones that I don't got mind getting to. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting up uh, four assists there, and then uh, threes. All right. Um, cake. No. Threes. Yeah. So Jeremy Grant has hit two threes in his last two games. So I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Kate Cunningham is fucking due for two threes, man. He get given to us a plus money. Uh, but I'll just add the Sadiq Bay two threes up there. All right. I do have some interest in the three threes for uh 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 Sadiq Bay. Slight interest for uh K and K Cunningham uh, two threes. I don't know if I'll get there. Maybe I'll throw them in the Hail Mary parlay. Uh these are some of the plays right here that I'm gonna try to get to. Uh, I, I'm not going to play them all, but I'm going to play a few of them, you know what I'm saying, to try to get me to plus money. Um, really looking at that four threes uh, hard. Any three of these going to get you plus money, though. You know what I'm saying? Any three, any three, any three. All right. So, yeah. Um, and curious to see what's going to happen tonight, man. Can Detroit, <coughs> <coughs> can Detroit make it six games or what? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies at Boston Celtics here. First matchup between these two teams, 223 and a half over under. Boston Celtics favored by one at home. Um, there'll be no Jalen Brown right uh, today. So that's interesting. Uh, of course, we'll see some uh, white. Some We should see some white, all right? Some Derek White. Um, don't have much on this game here. Uh I have I I I I I, I uh, uh, dis uh, uh Desmond Bain been pretty disappointing uh, last game here. I mean last few games from Bain the Art. Uh, we do know he has three four three upside. Um, don't mind getting to that uh, three uh, uh, three threes for him. Uh, we will see though. Um, Jason Tatum he's taken uh, nine threes or better in three of his last four games. So. Uh, you know, uh, three and a half threes is not out of the realm of possibilities. Uh, he's going to have to take up uh, 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 a lot of scoring load here. So four or five threes is uh, uh, in play for sure. Um, interesting uh, thing to point out here. How the matchups are going to, you know, favor or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Horford, would he match up with some Jaron Jackson? Jaron Jackson might have a little edge, might be able to step out there to the three-point line. Maybe knock down a few threes. You're gonna get that at uh, plus one sixty four. That's something you know, I, I, I'm gonna have to meditate on. All right, yeah, gonna have to meditate on that. So one three for Jaron Jackson. Not out of realm of possibilities. The same game parlays. Uh, two two threes for uh, Desmond Bain, and then three threes for uh, Jason Tatum. You can get a one two three right there for these guys and get a, a plus one fifty three just out of that alone. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the uh, rebounding uh, 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 situation thing here, okay? Rebounding situation thing, uh, you're going to have Steven Adams down there with uh, 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 Robert Williams and a side salad of Al Horford. We're going to see what's going on, man. I, I don't want to give up on my boy Steven Adams like that. He's We've been eating so good off of him, and Robert Williams, we've been eating good off of him too, man. So uh, Marcus Smart just might get a bump in usage here. You know what I'm saying? So his point prop is sitting at 13 and a half. Uh, if you want to get to a 10 point prop for him, uh, be my guest. Uh, so um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then for the assists here, um, you know, uh, 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 White, White. I really want to see with White because White, you know, he, you know, he he drops dimes too. So I want to see what's really good with this situation. What's going to be really good, you know what I'm saying? Because White does drop drop dimes, man. So I want to, I want to see. I can't wait till they put him on the books, man, because I know he should see uh, elevated usage or whatever the case may be, and minutes in the absence of Jalen Brown. All right. Uh, as far as John Morant concerned here, uh, oh, Marcus Smart, yeah, uh. Um, what what was that? What was that? Where, where is he at? Okay, no, I can't go there. Uh, yeah. Uh, what you see is what you get from John Morant. I mean, you know, be my guest. 
Uh, you know he's been balling hard. Uh, does a lot of his work down the paint, down in the paint, all right? So they're going to have guys like uh, Al Horford down there, guys like Robert Williams down there. Robert Williams is a good uh, shot blocker, so, you know, uh, when, you know, uh, shot blocks and, and steals and shit is not out of realm of possibility for him. And he drops dimes, too. Uh, so, you know, uh, 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 assists is not out of realm of possibility for him, at least two. Because, yeah, like I say, he does drop dimes. You can get two assists for him at uh, minus 220. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll see. We will see. We will see. We'll see what's going on with this game here. We will see what's going on with this game. A few trends here. I mean, uh, the over, all right? The over has been trending hard for both of these teams. Uh, as of late, it's been trending a little bit harder for um, 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 what the fuck are they named? Boston Celtics. All right. So, uh, like I said, this is they, these two teams haven't played this year. Um, the over, uh, the over is seven and one in Grizzlies last eight games following a straight up win. Um, the over is seven and one in Grizzlies last eight games following an ATS win. Um, the over, I mean, uh, the group, the, but but. They are seven and zero. The Grizzlies are seven zero in their last seven games, playing on two days rest. Okay, uh, they seven zero against the spread, <clears throat> and they six and one against the spread. In their last seven games as a road favorite, but you know, right? They were as a favorite probably, but they're not a favorite now. All right, now uh, Boston, uh, the over, <clears throat> the over has been, you know, the over six and one in the last seven game as a home. What's the spread? So the spread that moved. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, the spread that moved in favor of. I had to. I, had to, I gotta go back and look. Anyway, the, it's over. You know, the over's been trending. The over's been trending. Over has been trending. We got 223 and a half over under in this one. I don't know, man. I, it, this game won't go over if they can hold John Morant, but uh, good luck doing that. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to play some hell of an interior defense to hold this boy down. Uh, so it is what it is uh, with that one. All right. Oh, man, let's keep it moving. Um, go to State Warriors, Dallas Mavericks. All right. Uh, 220 and a half over under. Uh, Dallas Mavericks favored by two. Hmm. These lines moving like a motherfucker, boy. Hey, yes, they are. Yes, they are. They've been moving. It's money been coming in. Money been coming in. Money been coming in. Go to State's Warriors should get uh, Clay back, all right? Um, 222, 220 and a half in this one here. Um, right off the back, man, uh, these 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 uh, these Dallas Mavericks, man, you know, uh, this is the fourth and final matchup between these two teams. Dallas Mavericks, Dallas Mavericks has won two of these last three. These teams just uh, played. Let's talk about um, Golden State, all right? The over, all right? They've been getting their ass kicked, and the over's been trending, all right? The over is 4-0 in the Warriors' last four games on one day's rest. The over is 4-0 and one in the Warriors' last five Thursday games. The over is 4-0 and one in, you know, in, in their last five games following a straight-up loss. But you look at Dallas, the shit is trending the opposite way. Um, They've been going under... A little bit more because you know they've been playing a little bit better defense, but you know they've been covering. Let's keep it. Let's 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 not forget that. You know uh, they five and zero against the spread. You know in their last five games as an underdog, which they were, and now they're not. All right. So uh, the lines have been moving. You know they four and one against the spread in their last five games. Period. So they've been they've been covering, and uh, Golden State have been you know. You know, getting their cover knocked off, or whatever the case may be, with that. All right, so yeah, um, they've went over this total once in the last in their last three meetings. Um, so you know, and between these two teams, the over is seven and one in Dallas, in Dallas, in Dallas. So it's a lot of trends over, in, you know, moving all over the place here. Uh, Two twenty over under in this one. Like I said, they went over this total. They went over this total once, man. They went over this total once. We will see. They get Clay back tonight. Uh, they did go over the total when they when Clay did play, but uh, I guess you know uh, uh, he didn't do too much. He didn't do too much either. 
Uh, Bankroll Builder, here's my player pool here, uh, starting off at the three-point section here. Um, I've already sprinkled something. I got to say 120. I sprinkled a little something on, on Stephen Curry, three and a half. Uh, we'll see what's up with that. It's not an official play. It's just a, a it is what it is play. All right. You know, it's just Stephen Curry. Just, I mean, what, 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 what you want me to do? All right. So, uh, Luka Doncic and uh, Reggie Bullock. Uh, Reggie Bullock, you know, uh, he, he sold last game. Looking for him to get back right. I sprinkled some on that, too. I, I already sprinkled some on that. All right, so bankroll builders, you know, you already know the drill here. What was it? Uh, uh, I sprinkled something on this as, as well. The two, for, uh, two and then uh, three for Curry. That right there gets you plus money. All right, plus one-on-one. I wanted to add the uh, Wiggins to it. Uh, 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 but I did, I just played that. Now, uh, um, I'm going to revisit this game, so I don't mind, you know, throwing that up there because this is a play that I don't mind going to the, uh, 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 the uh, Andrew Wiggins, either, 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 either on two threes or, uh, like around 13, 14 points. Not his, not his, not his point prop, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, let me keep it moving. I right, assist. All right. Now, one thing about the assist game here, um, we got a seven and a half. You know, we got a seven and a half for Luka Doncic. I'm glad I laid off this motherfucking six, all right? Because we know we got uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, you know, he, he's been, you know, he, he hasn't hit, you know, close to his six prop lately. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so Spencer Dinwiddie going out there give you seven, eight, nine assists, you know, here and there. And then you got Jalen Brunson, who's really a point guy. He's going out there dropping down too. So at this point right now, me personally, I'm going to take a step back for some of these assist props from uh, Luka Doncic. It is what it is. But if you want to go down to a six, I mean, you'll get that at, at one of my numbers that I like. Uh, I'm probably still not going to put that six up there. But, you know, I, you know, for the sake of this video and that number, I'll just throw it there. I'm probably not going to play it. I'm just going to be keep it real with you. Uh, six rebounds, though. Six rebounds for somebody like uh, uh, Kevin Looney. Uh, I can, you know, it's not out of realm possibilities right there. Uh, four rebounds. I have four rebounds for... Uh, Finney Smith, it's going to pain me to put it up there because this is what he's been doing lately. Uh, I think last four games, he's had rebounds in the area of 9, 9, 7, and 7 or something like that. So he deserves an honorable mention. Still don't know if it's going to stick for me. Uh, and then points. Like I said, if I, if I was to add some points like that, uh, Stephen Curry, you know, he's going to hit that number for me. Uh, if I go to him, I'll add him to the pool, pool right now at 20. That's if I go to him. And then uh, I was looking at somebody like... Uh, uh, Andrew Wiggins, though, uh, at 16, I don't know, maybe a 12, a 13, or something like that. Maybe it's just a straight fade. I am going to have some interest in a few threes for uh, um, um, on Clay Thompson whenever they add him to the books. But uh, these are some of the plays right here that I will go through, uh, take a couple of them, uh, and uh, make a, a plus money parlay with that. Uh, just going to go through it. It's still early for me. All right. Uh, yeah. So, um, mm-hmm. Okay, last game on the docket here. We got Los Angeles Lakers at uh, Los Angeles Clippers. And the Los Angeles Lakers, they've been trash. Bubba Dub, trash. 220 and a half here. Uh, Los Angeles Clippers favored by three here. Los Angeles Clippers beat these guys three times in a row. This is the fourth uh, matchup between the two. Uh, three times the revenge right here for uh, Los Angeles Lakers here. They need to try to get these guys. Uh, so right off the back, I want to tell you what I'm going to be waiting for before I get into anything else. Uh, I'm, I need to see the starting lineup. All right. Uh, if they run out this small lineup here, then it's going to be, I ain't going to say it's going to be some problems, but, uh, I mean, because the first, my first, my first thing I wanted to do when I came here is I wanted to go to the zoo box prop. All right. I wanted to go to the zoo box prop and then boom, it hit me. There, there was, it wasn't up there. Then I thought about it too, like, man, his rebound prop is going to be, you know, I, I, I was just anxious to see. But then I know this Lakers team, they do like to go small. If they go out there with their LeBron at the center bullshit, then, you know, they can run, they can run uh, zoo box off the floor. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that you really, really probably want to take a uh, 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 take take heed to. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. If that happens, then you get somebody like Terrence Mann who had a double-double last time these two teams played. And, you know, I always rave about his rebounding. Then, you know, you, you know, he might see elevated, you know, rebounds. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that factors into a lot of things. And that's just me in particular, because that's how I look at things. You know, I have to, you know, I, you know, I keep a photographic memory of some shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's another story here. Uh, don't have an official play here. Uh, I'll show you what I got some interest in. Um, first of all, I got interest in uh, both of these three-point props for uh, Reggie Jackson and Marcus Morris. Uh, good, good plus money there. Uh, same game parlay, uh, bankroll builders. This is where I'm going to go with the, uh, uh, um, my, player, my player pool is going to consist of LeBron James, two threes, Reggie Jackson, two threes, uh, Marcus Morris, two threes. That's plus 160 right there. Uh, don't mind adding uh, Terrence Mann, one three. Uh, he's hit exactly one three in, man, about eight of his last nine games, seven of his last eight games, some shit like that. That's crazy with some shit like that. Um, player assists, okay. Um, uh, Reggie Jackson is assist prop sitting at um six and a half. Uh, same game probably is I'm gonna be looking for when the alternate is coming out. I'm gonna be looking for a five and a half. It's gonna be a sweet spot for me. Uh, probably won't go to a four. It's pretty juiced up. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, um, rebounds. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to take a stab at a uh somebody like um Terrence Mann at the four right there. Even though it's juiced up at. Uh, uh, plus 560, minus 560, but the same game probably is, I, I will add it there. I will, I will, or maybe I won't, you know what I'm saying? Might stick with it. I just want to see what the uh, star lineup is, you know, so it is what it is with that situation. In the end, you know, you got guys like uh, um, uh, Marcus Morris, like if I do go to him, it's just, you know, I wait for alternate props or something to come out, and then you know, because it's gonna either be I don't, you know, if I take him for like twelve or thirteen props, then I would have to uh, points. Then I have to take away his three point. You know what I'm saying? I won't play both of them like that. You know, I just won't. That's just me. Like two threes and then fourteen or fifteen points. I just can't do it. I can't do it because I can't. I mean, I, I know this type of guy here. He can score in a multitude of different ways. Go out there and give me fifteen points, but one three, I'm gonna be sick, you know what I'm saying? So I just won't do it. And then, like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about the numbers for me. I'll just stick it with the number, and I'm gonna get that uh Marcus Morris two threes at minus 220. Okay, so that's where I'm at with that situation. And same thing for other guys, too, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, now, um, yeah, so but you know, for the sake of this video, what I uh, when the alternates come out. You know, I, I I'm not going nowhere. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not going nowhere near that twenty for uh, Reggie Jackson. I'm good for how many times he hit it. And then, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, after that, man. So Terrence, man, uh, ten points for him is not out of realm of possibilities. You know, so you can take the three or you can take the ten points, whichever one you want to go with. Uh, yeah. And then uh, he's a ladder candidate for me in this position here. Uh, you'll get uh, fifteen points for him. At uh, 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 he had 19 last time these two teams played. The minutes are there for him, so you know, keep it, keep that in mind. 15 points for uh, Terrence Mann at plus 128. Uh, if you're feeling froggy, I did catch him on the 20 point one time this year against the Rockets, but you know, 14, uh, 20 points is uh, plus 450. And then, uh, always, 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 last but not least, uh, always take a glance at Luke Kennard. Uh, I do believe he gave these guys five threes. Uh, last time these uh, teams played in uh, 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 a decent amount of time here, okay? I rarely talk about the big stars. You guys know that. I got that question the other day because these guys are like LeBron James and shit like that. They're self-explanatory. Uh, do what you want with them. I rarely bet on them, man, tell you the truth. But, yeah, uh, Luke Kennard did get it. Actually, Luke Kennard, yeah, uh, he was on fire around that time. So his last two games, he only had one three. But uh, going back to that Lakers game, he had hit five games. And prior to that, five threes. And prior to that, going up against Houston, he had hit eight threes, man. So, uh, you know, he's a he's he's a big-time three-point candidate, you know. So uh, it is what it is, guys. Uh, be safe out there. Um, hopefully I can put together something, you know. Uh, I will put together something, you know what I'm saying? Most of the thing for me is a spur of the moment, a lot of live bet uh, betting for me, um, a lot of bankroll betting for me, and then uh, straight betting for me. Um, I'm at work all the time. That's why I can barely get things out. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Peace out. Uh, peace out, man. Peace.